Hey friends, today is day nine. Day nine is kind of a part two to day eight. I'm going to show you three other styles. So first I'm just moisturizing the hair and the hair is already parted. So if you did not watch my video yesterday and you need to know how to part it, then just check it out. And if you don't want to watch the whole video, just start it at one minute and 40 seconds. Now I'm just going to take a section of the hair that I've parted and put an elastic in it. And then I'm going to again section the hair. I'm I want the sections to be the same size so that it's consistent and it looks good. So I'm, I section that off and I'm grabbing that other hair, putting it together with that other part. And then I'm going to put another elastic in it. And I'm just going to continue doing that until there's no more hair left. And this time I'm just going to leave the end of that hair out and just incorporate it with her nice big curls. And then I'm just going to spread that hair out just a little bit because it wasn't a ponytail. And if you have to, if her hair is dry, just add a little bit of moisture. And now for this next style, I'm just co finger combing her hair down towards her face. And then I'm going to create like a little roll. I'm just rolling the hair all together. See, I didn't like that much. So I'm trying to get it as close to the edge as possible. And I'm just rolling the hair underneath or twisting, twisting it underneath until I get to the very end. These styles are just really easy styles to do if you really need to get out the door because, you know, school or work or whatever and you don't have time to do anything. This is really simple, really easy, and not a lot of work. So now I'm just gonna pin that up securely. And then again, I'm just gonna take it out of that ponytail and fluff it all cute. This next style, I'm doing the twist. It's kind of like the French braid, but I'm just grabbing two parts and twisting them. So I'm just taking two parts right there and I'm twisting it a couple of times before I grab some hair and add it to the part and twist it. And then I'm going to, again, grab some hair, add it to one of the parts and twist it. And I'm just gonna keep doing that all down to the end. <laughs> and I don't twist really tight. Like I don't pull this really tight. I like it to be really loose because I like the like fluffy effect on the top. You'll see what I mean at the end. And this style is perfect for somebody who is just learning how to French braid because you are like twisting and grabbing hair and twisting or grabbing hair, but just with two parts instead of three. Now I'm just putting an elastic in it and I'm going to pin that in the hair. So I just take a section like that and I just pin it and lay the hair over that so you don't see it. And then again I just add some cuteness by fluffing up those curls. And then I'm going to take care of those baby hairs and just add a little gel to the front with my toothbrush. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And Sakura is gonna say hey to some of your little kids out there. The reason I did this, I wanna let you guys know is because I know if, if it was Sakura, she would love to hear somebody shout her name out. So I thought it'd be cool for you guys. So, so thank you my friend mummies for leaving your little one's name. That's so sweet of you guys. Thank you, bye. Nope, there's more. There's two, four. Hi, Anne Marie. Thank you for watching, Anne Marie. Hi, Damira. Ah, Mira. Hi, Kelly. Thank you for watching, Kelly.